coming out here to rural America, you're seeing the crowd. How important are these, maybe, you know, club shows? This is the seventh annual. I've been to every one. The lifeblood of boxing. Without them, it's the farm system. You know, you don't have the big leagues without the farm system. They keep bringing guys up, you know, to the big leagues. You have to have these uh, fights. We don't have enough of them. You have to have these club fights, these shows around the country to build talent. Yeah. Uh, Long-time trainer, now commentator. What's the biggest difference or maybe the biggest disappointment in not being in the corner? No disappointment, my own choice. You know, uh, I don't want to train fighters right now. The last fight I trained was uh, Alexander Perfekin. We won the WBA heavyweight title. And uh, I got screwed at the end of it. Uh, they didn't keep their word. Um, the way that they were supposed to, as far as our uh, commitment to each other. You know, after he won the title, all of a sudden they figured, hey, they're going to force me to go to Russia to train when the deal was. And I'm working for ESPN. They come here, which they did for two and a half years. And then uh, when I'm not working for ESPN during those months, from September to January, I go there, which they did for two and a half years. But then once they won the title, they forgot that. And uh, that's made me not want to work with fighters anymore. Yeah. But, you know, the biggest difference is... I just have to tell you guys what's going on out there or what's going to happen. I try to do it a little different. I try not to tell you the obvious, but not the obvious. What's going to happen before it happens? And take a little risk and do that. And the biggest thing is I don't have to worry about no one talking back to me. <laughs> well documented. Uh, when you trained uh, Junior Jones for the Paul Engel fight, he called you. You had him come over for a weekend, and you felt something that made you believe that you guys were on the same page, that you worked with him for that fight. What would it take, if anything, if a fighter was interested and wanted you to uh, train and prepare them for a fight? Is there anything that you would consider? You know, for the Paul Angle fight, Junior Jones was probably past himself. He was in the twilight of his career. Uh, didn't have much left, but he wanted one more shot, and I talked to him. He was very sincere, and I thought maybe we could have enough for one night. One night to win the title. You know what? We got this close. We dropped Angle in the fight, and then after that, we didn't have enough left. And uh, to the credit of, of Julia Jones, he gave me everything he had. And that's why I trained him, because he wanted one more shot to win the title uh, at that point in his career. I, I need guys that, listen, that are going to keep their word. If you keep your word outside the ring, you're probably going to be strong inside the ring. Yeah, and as documented on your time with Shannon Briggs, Kirk Johnson, and other fighters, the disappointments that, then the frustrations you have in the sport. Um, beyond that, uh, did you work with just as many fighters that the public never knew about that were hard workers and did, of course, did follow you? Of course, millions of them. You know, not millions. Yeah. But a lot of them. A lot of fighters. I, you know, I guys like Chris Reed, Shamrock Express, he fought for a world title. He gave everything. Tyrone Jackson fought for the world title. Uh, he was a Harlem Butch. I'm very proud of Tyrone. You know, he lost to, he lost to Tony Lopez for the title in ABC many, 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 many years ago. But then we fought after that against Manuel Medina for the world title. And he won. He got robbed. And he won. And believe me, Tyrone Jackson deserved to have won that fight against Medina. But the thing I was proud about Tyrone is he didn't do his best in his first title fight. He asked me to give him another shot. He did. And you know what? He kept his word. He behaved like a pro. And um, he came this close to winning the title. Your great uh, talks in the corner with Michael Moore about making a decision, even with Povetkin, reminding him about his father. Does that come from your own life experiences and what motivated you to, tr and do you try to express that to motivate your fighters? It comes from caring, that's all. It comes from caring about what I do and caring about people and finding what it, what is needed to find at that moment to make the fighter care about what's about to happen.